Hello and welcome to Script Tonight React. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode six of Fargo. Today's episode is called The Lord of No Mercy. I don't think this is going to end very well for anybody. Ever. That last episode was really intense. You could almost feel the sort of stirring of the cauldron and everything beginning to heat up and explode. Nikki and Ray in the last couple of episodes have been upping the ante against Emmett by deception, by dressing Ray up as Emmett. So first of all, they had him go and withdraw money <laughs> from the bank. His role was actually to get the safety deposit box because that's where they thought the stamps were going to be, but it was actually like the dog's ashes. And Ray, in just like a fit of pique, decides if he can't get definitely hold of the stamps, he's going to take their kind of face value, what he thinks the, the face value was at the time. So it's kind of justice to him. Except he wants to pay a parking meter so he gets $10,001 and triggers an IRS. Kind of money laundering fraud alert against his brother. Unknowingly, but it's still like the ignorance. Not complete with that, they then decide to make a sex tape. As if Emmett was having sex with somebody other than his wife. Which, as you all know, I consider way beyond the pale. That's so far over the line. And this gets them into some serious trouble because basically Emmett loses his shit. And because now VM Varga is aware that Ray and Nikki are causing an issue, it becomes VM Varga's problem and not Emmett's problem. So Ray and Nikki got into this thinking they were taking on Emmett. Now they're actually taking on, you know, some billionaire crazy person. And that really ends up bad for Nikki because she's going to do what she thinks is get 200 grand out of Psy. Or if she's going for 100 grand, but she ups it to two. And we'll never know if she would have got the money out of him or not. I actually think she would have. I actually think Psy is one of the actual better people in this show. I think it hurts him to hurt people. I don't think he'd have had the reaction to the way that Nikki was treated if there wasn't some goodness in him. I certainly think he's better than Emmett. Absolutely for sure. I think he's the good guy in that, that partnership. But poor old Nikki, she ends up getting the absolute shit kicked out of her because uh, Yuri Gurkha, and I, I don't know what the other guy's name is, his partner, just come and really beat the hell out of her. And then just drive away. And then Sai drives away. I think Sai thought she was dead. In the meantime, thanks to some uh, cunning work by Winnie Lopez and Gloria Burville, that pair are now starting to narrow in on Ray. They've made the connection between Ray, Maurice Le Fay, and Ellis Stussy. They were after Emmett Stussy in Eden Prairie and, they, and he actually killed Ennis Stussy in Eden Valley. Can dogs dead? Dogs dead. They, however, are being thwarted once again by an idiot chief. This new guy who I am going to call... That's what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him the idiot chief. That's it. Even when I know his name... I'm going to call him the idiot chief as a sign of disrespect. He really loves the sound of his own voice. He feels like his stories are steeped in deep wisdom. Actually, he's just a misogynist asshole. But he continues to blather on and get in the way of everyone who's trying to do their job. And Emmett is becoming more and more entangled with Varga, ever more, under his spell. I think Emmett actually might be one of the darker characters in this show. 
I think with Sai as his right hand man, Sai would, I think, attach Emmett to kind of values and goodness. With VM Varga as his partner, I think those attachments will become less and less important. I could even see him getting rid of Sai at some point if Sai was to appear to threaten the Varga deal. I think anything is possible with that character. And that leads us into this episode where I have no idea where this episode is going to take us, what group we're going to focus on. But what I do know is I'm really settling into this season now. This has caught my attention. So without further ado, let's have at it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to include all this, but I love this image of just, it's, you can, the room is getting lighter. What's that thing on the left? See, it looks like that little robot from the cartoon. I think it might just be a plug, but I've got, like, fixated on it because it looks like a doll's face. Fucking hell, this show. Oh, it's a door! It's a doorknob! He, he could kill Emmett right now. He's... Because they don't even know about the embargo and everything. This is what Emmett's done. Uh. Oh, shit! A Russian and some. Oh, fuck! Travel eight mile Kevlar. <sighs> Motherfucker. Tell they should never have left her alive because I think she. This is gonna get ugly. Oh, shit, I knew it. Oh, shit! true story. Oh, fuck off. A 150-year-old bank with $60 billion in assets collapses overnight. Its stock price drops. Perception of reality becomes reality. Another true story. The First World War was started by a sandwich. One last story, also true. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, nicely done, Fargo. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a sound stage in New Mexico. That's not. That never happened. <laughs> Stasi Lot Limited are in the process of securing fifty million dollars in new loans. Now we're going to use that money to buy sixteen more lots after paying some healthy bonuses to the partners, of course. You're talking about doubling the size of the company in six months? Three months. It's a lot of debt. And just to line our pockets, shouldn't we? I'm just saying, a more cautious approach. Why not? Oh, God. Because the shallow end of the pool is where the turds float. Oh, fuck off! I hate him. Whether you step off the board with one foot or two, you still end up in the water. Okay, but what about the IRS? Leave the IRS to me. This is insane. Um, Gurkha's partner, isn't it? He's mimicking him. Section 41C of the U.S. Tax Code affords my client the right to license representation in the face of any IRS inquiry. As counsel, I'm filing here with you an official protest to this faceless and cockeyed inquiry and demand you withdraw immediately and file by mail. The statutory required 30-day <sighs> notice. Until that time, we demand you vacate our offices immediately. 
Yes! This show just fucks with your morals all over the place, doesn't it? It really does. Like, you're rooting for one person one minute and another person the next, and it's completely inconsistent. Oh my god! They're on them! Baby, trust me. I want payback, maybe even more than you. But we gotta wait. She's right. I'm really glad they're not going off half cock, because they'll just get shot. Just saying, drop into the emergency room and let him take a look. You said yourself, the cops are looking for me. And these fellas, the villains, they're probably watching the hospital. I don't like it. He's into something, your brother. I got the sense from his lawyer, Phelps, that it may be involuntary. I mean it against his will. Oh, she's smart. Didn't you say he was having money trouble a while back? In the crash, yeah. He goes to the bank, tries to borrow. But we know from the news they're not lending. You're so smart, Nikki. Oh, Chuck. At that level, they call him something else. Private hmm? equity. But a shark in a suit is still a shark. Oh, I just... Every time I see him... Leave your rotten teeth alone, you disgusting piece of crap. Oh, he's getting his gum! Oh! Oh! For sake! God! I'm sorry, I couldn't help but over here, and uh, this sounds like my area of expertise, if you'd like to talk in my office. That's... I got it. Don't trouble yourself. I didn't get your name. True. This is, um, uh, Mr... I'm an associate of Mr. Stussy's, is all you need to know for now. The fuck? Associate in what capacity? Ladies' shoes. <laughs> Wow. Turns out uh, your brother was his parole officer. Great. Yes, sir, and that got us wondering, especially since Mr. Stussy... No, that got his attention. His car got rammed in. Was there some kind of feud between you and Ray? A feud? No. Because we had your brother into the station, asked him the same question, and he said... Well, I mean... What exactly is the connection in your mind between Emmett's alleged brother and the victim? He's <laughs> alleged? Are you suggesting somehow Ray Stussy isn't... It's your story, Detective. I'm merely looking for clarification. Chief, not Detective. Whoa! My apologies. In 1932, there were, uh, what, 24 Hitlers in the German phone book. Now, are you suggesting that they were all responsible for the final solution? 24, exactly. <laughs> You're saying... my brother was trying to rob me? Right, right. Look, I'd like, you, I'd like to thank you for bringing all this to our attention and to assure you that if anything fruitful comes to mind, any details that you might find illuminating, then we'll make sure to bring them to your attention. All right. Are we leaving? Yes, you are. Come on. Oh my god, I can breathe for that! Okay, anything. It's Eden Valley, is that a nice town? Mm -hmm. 
We got a tasty freeze in a Dairy Queen. The wonders never cease. Come on. Oh, she's... <laughs> Please let her get him. Please. Oh, no. Oi. She's invisible too, you prick. There is a police station in Eden Valley with no computers. I'd like to take a look at a case file, so... Quiet or loud? Quiet. I'm trying to contain something, not expand it. Stay the course for me. Put an ear to this gold fart meeting tonight. They're on for six. Now, I want you to find the brother, this Ray character and his bitch. Execute. I just want to say, yes, I caught that Sai and Emmett, I think, maybe, are going to meet Goldfarb this evening at six. But no! This can't go down. Oh, if they kill Ricky, I'm going to be fucking... Let it go, girl. Three, two, one, play. No. Oh. Fuck!